Now see this question here. Find the value of f and theta using Lamy's theorem if the system of forces is in equilibrium. It is in fact the same question which we have done previously uh, by using uh, a law of triangular forces in graphical method. But if you have to use the Lamy's theorem, how can you do that? That is what asked here. You know in applying Lamy's theorem, we need the angles between every two forces. Here this force and this force are perpendicular, so that angle is known as 90 degree. But we need the other angles between the other pairs of forces. So, this force and this force, let this is the angle between them. Since this is theta and total is 180, we know this, under, this angle is 180 minus theta. And here angle between this force and this force, this is theta, this is 90, so it is 90 plus theta. So, we have all the three angles, one known, the other two unknown, but in terms of one unknown theta. You know what is Lamy's theorem? Each force, the ratio of each force to the sign of the angle between the other two forces is constant. So, if you take the first force, that means applying Lamy's theorem at O, if you take the first force as F. So, F upon sine of the opposite angle, that is sine of 90, is equal to 100, 100 upon sine of the other angle between the other two forces, that is opposite angle, that is 90 plus theta, is equal to 200 upon which angle we have to take this angle we have to take the design of 180 minus theta. So, if you look at these two relations this and this second and third terms the only unknown here is theta everything is known. So, you can easily simplify sin 90 plus theta you know is cosine theta and here it is sin 180 minus theta is also uh, sin 180 minus theta is sin theta. So, you can rearrange this. So, you these two can be solved this and this and once you solve that yourself you get theta value to be 63 degree. Once you got 63 degree, now you can put the theta here or here wherever you like it, but once you put it here the theta these two can be used. So, solving f by sin 90 is 100 by sin 90 plus the theta I placed here. So, everything is known except f. So, very easily you can uh, reorganize this equations and find the value of the force that is coming to be 223.6 Newton approximately. So, this is how a Lamy's theorem can also be used, but again Lamy's theorem you have to note that uh, it is applicable only for three coplanar concurrent forces and that too when the three forces are keeping the particle in equilibrium. Since it is in equilibrium the application is proper.